Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video I'll be talking about my how I wood carved some keychains. So I started off in this video um, by using this dark wood. Um, I quickly changed to basswood because it's a lot easier to carve. Basswood's a really soft wood and good for carving. Uh, but I only carved a simple coke can keychain on the, the darker wood, which it worked out later. I ended up painting it a red coke can, and I really liked this one. It was just a very, very simple uh, wood carving that I did just to get my feet in the water, uh, wood carving back again, because I hadn't wood carved in a while. Um, I got this wood carving set actually from my grandpa. So thank you, Grandpa, for uh, buying me this. <laughs> it, it's definitely come in handy. Uh, this is probably around the third time I've wood carved, and it's a lot of fun every time I decide to wood carve again. Um, I started off by making a ball, like a simple sphere. Um, it wasn't a perfect sphere because I'm not that great at wood carving yet. But uh, I did a eight ball from pool, like a pool eight ball, which was pretty fun, but a very simple again. And then I got into more complex uh, carvings, and so I started off with a penguin keychain and a mushroom keychain. The mushroom keychain, I just uh, took a block of wood, smoothed out the corners on four sides, and then I made a round sphere on the top of the, the block of wood, and that made the top of the mushroom. And then I carved against the grain, and, or with the grain, I mean, and took off a lot of the bulk of the, the mushroom underneath. And it, that gave me the, a, good, a good form that I was happy with. And then the same thing I did with a, a penguin. I just carved um, all the sides out smooth, uh, and then I carved out a dome for the head of the the penguin it's a very cute style penguin and then to get the the a perfect sphere or like a, a round shape i did use a palm sander as you can see there um i took off a lot of wood a lot of bulk wood that it would have taken me a long time to carve off by hand and then I painted everything. So painting the wood, I've never actually done this before. I was going to use Posca pens, um, but I ended up going to acrylic paint because the acrylic paint was more opaque. And so I had to do less coats. And it didn't really seek, like, seep into the wood as much as the Posca pens did. Uh, and so that basically allowed me to layer the paints a lot easier and it would go by faster. And so as you can see here, I painted the mushroom. I painted it red with some white dots and then I left the underneath like this tan color the wood color, the, 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 like it's the color of the wood. And then I, uh, I painted the penguin um, black and white. And then I allowed that to dry so then I can go back in and um, paint them later. You'll see me adding up some details. And I painted the most complex sculpture uh, so far, which was a shark. And this one, the shark wasn't too hard. It was just um, the fins of the shark. I couldn't carve because the block wasn't big enough. The block of wood I was using wasn't big enough. So I went in with some polymer clay, some white polymer clay. I baked it, and then I, I actually glued it with uh, super glue to the wood, and then I painted it. The only problem is that the epoxy uh, glue couldn't be painted so when it was it kind of seeped through the connection between the wood and the polymer clay so that couldn't it really couldn't be painted so there's like a tiny spot of imperfection on it but and and also the, the acrylic paint could be scratched off the polymer clay which was a problem but um, I still like the form of the sculpture and the keychain so I'm happy with it it's fine uh, the penguin uh, I finished up some details along with the shark and then this is what I had so far um, and this is before I added any eyes or details Detail. Uh, I eventually went back in with, and I painted the um, penguin eyes, I painted the underbelly of the shark, and I painted like a nice cute face on it, and then I painted the Pac-Man ghost I also carved. I did the same thing uh, form as I did with the mushroom, I just carved off all the corners of a block of wood, and simply used a palm sander, took off some bulk of the wood, and then made a Pac-Man ghost. And this was pretty cute. And then I made another mushroom because I felt like doing that, and it was a very cute sculpture, so I, I was just, I wanted to make another one. Also, I also bought a bunch of key rings on Amazon. These were pretty cheap. They were like five bucks for like 200 of them. And then I bought a, um, it's like this screw set where you, it's like a ring. You screw the ring into the, the wood and then you can put the keychain onto it. And so I made a bunch more Pac-Man ghosts, all the colors of the Pac-Man ghosts. And then I finished off all the keychains with um, all the key rings and the, the hooks that I bought. And I glued put them all into the uh, wood. I screwed them all into the wood. And then this is what I have. I'm actually listing these on Etsy. So if you wanted to buy a keychain and support, you know, support my sculptures and stuff, then you can go ahead and buy one. That would be pretty cool. But um, yeah, this is what I made. Uh, hopefully I'll be making more actually out of polymer clay, uh, which is a video to come. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.